What's going on guys? Caleb here, Caleb's Property Maintenance. Thank you so much for coming back for yet another video. All right guys, so today we have the Honda HS720. I purchased a snowblower last year, uh, middle of last winter, and uh, I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on it, so stay tuned. I purchased this snowblower, as I said, last winter, and my dealer t told me when I was going to purchase a single stage snowblower that I should really consider the Honda line of single stage snowblowers over their next best competitor. I'm not going to mention their name, but everyone knows who they are. So he further explained to me that the way they have designed the augers in there it's able to process much snow much faster than said brand so he said in turn you can get more done with this unit than you can with said brand so i said all right what else is maybe better about this snowblower than uh, said brand he said well the other thing is that this snowblower throws the snow farther than said brand. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, throws the snow farther and you can get more done because of the way the, pa the paddles are designed differently than the other. So I said, sounds pretty good to me. So I picked it up and unfortunately they this unit, they didn't, um, this one has electric start. Obviously, I don't need electric start. I can't <laughs> port around the generator from house to house. That'd be crazy. But um, they didn't have uh, on hand one without electric start. Uh, the other one has, you guys have seen it, with the handle coming off the chute to turn it, and I didn't want to deal with that. So this has a nice handle system, which we'll get into. So anyway, so I was stuck per uh, spending a little bit more money than I maybe had to, because I needed it like right away. So not a big deal. So I picked it up. Everything was great last year. Perfectly fine. Ran super. Loved it. We got a storm that was like six, seven inches. Handled it like a champ. I was so impressed. I said, yay, I'm never going back to said brand. This is going to be awesome. Yeah. I was pumped and I mean it threw it far. Oh, I was happy. And of course being the new four stroke gives it a little bit more power than the older two stroke. So couldn't couldn't complain there. So I was all pumped. Yeah, this is awesome. Fast forward to this year. Well, we've had, at least here in Pennsylvania where I am, we've had quite a bit of storms that have been wet and heavy, especially the last couple storms. Um, that's why I haven't gotten any footage for you guys, because actually it's been snowing and then turning to rain, so I can't get, take the camera out. I wish I could. I really wish I could give you guys some footage, but hopefully one of these times it won't. Uh, it'll just snow and that'll be it. So anyway, so it's been wet and heavy, and of course we've had to take this, this snowblower out because the two-stage can't really handle it. And um, so we take it out. Okay, no problem. We go to run it. Here's where it gets interesting. It does okay in wet and heavy snow, but the chute gets clogged up quite frequently. And I'm gonna show you, I think, why it gets clogged up right here. So if you can see in there, there's a plate right here in the front part. This backside is all rounded, no problem. But the front part, has a plate right in here. I'm not sure why they did that. So like you saw there guys, that plate in the front, what happens is um, if you've come to a melted spot or, so, or a spot that's really wet and heavy and the snow really doesn't come out the chute much, it lands right there on that plate. And then when you, and then when you try to go and um, when you try, when you're keeping on going on, on your path, the snow falls back into the chute and clogs it up. So it's been this thing has been clogged several times. Yesterday uh, we had the um, 
about three inches of heavy wet snow and then it turned into rain later on in the day so you can only imagine it was getting clogged quite frequently the spot where this one shined was we had a driveway that started out narrow and it comes comes to the wider part at the bottom of it and we had to toss it all to the one side so I had the other said brand snowblower that handled no problem starting out but then once you got it piled up a little bit on the one side it uh, it couldn't handle it and this thing handled it no problem so it, it has its pros and its cons another thing I want to mention is the way you turn the chute and the way you adjust the chute up and down so as you guys can see this lever turns the chute side to side and it is really hard to, I mean, I can do it and it loosens up over time, but when you first go to do it, it's rather hard. And this thing is even harder. This is the chute up and down motion. Like, I, I don't, whew, I can barely do it. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe the uh, top of the chute needs some greasing. I'm not quite sure, but. I'm really uh, rather annoyed that you make a fairly good product and you got to throw something on there like that that doesn't even work quite right. Now the next uh, little problem I found, we're going to take a look at the wheels. So as you can see, the, the wheels you would think they would have like a, a nice, this tread would be good, but what happens is the snow gets piled up in the tread and then it does not come off the tread this this is too a uh, too aggressive of a tread and then it just collects and you can imagine it's like a th thump 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 around every time it rolls around so that's um not really good i will show you the other said brand uh this is a older obviously two stroke i will show you those tires and you can see the difference in the tread between the two otherwise you're checking out the back of the unit you have your key on and off nice choke right there what i really love is this gas valve you can turn the gas line on and off and run it out of gas which i have done and things just seem to work better when you do that all the time and then obviously throw a stabilizer in the gas um, at the end of the winter season and you're good to go next year so obviously easy uh, oil change right there and um, oil fill is right there so electric start obviously I have never even tried it I don't know if it works <laughs> but anyway overall it's really not a, a, a horrible unit. I have not changed the paddles, so I, I couldn't tell you how easy or hard that is. They look rather easy to me, if you uh, ask me, because there's a lot more pieces to them than said brand. Said brand, you only have two, so you have to bend them around a little bit, so that's a whole lot more complicated than what this looks like. So I'm, I'm anxious, it's almost due for it, not quite. So I'm anxious. Other than that, I really can't complain. Plenty of power on this unit. Being that it's a Honda, you know it's gonna start. So we've had no problems with it starting. I love this Honda small engine, so I'm sure some of you guys probably do. So I'm anxious guys, leave me a comment uh, down below. If you would be interested in picking up a Honda or if you just stick with uh, said brand, uh, next best competitor and um the only thought that we're having is maybe we should spray a grease or something to keep the snow from sticking but other than that can't really complain so all right guys make sure you like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day